lot of dudes talk tough, I am real talk. I'm never lose sight of the reason why I'm here for. I went MIA but never took a year off. I was cooking up the Tyson flow to bite your ear off. Every day I have to go into training mentally strong because if you're not there mentally, you're not there physically. I can promise you it's that cliche, you know, hard work pays off, but it really does. Every time I step out onto the track, I'm thinking, I'm here to win. I train with 10 guys and one girl, and when it's just myself and the guys, I don't care if you're a boy, I'm going out to beat you. I became vegan because for oh, a number of reasons, for my health. Obviously the animal agriculture, uh, that was quite horrible. I watched a few documentaries and it just changed my mindset on the way I saw the world. And a lot of people had issues with me being a vegan and an athlete. I decided to educate those that were against the plant-based diet and I just had to reassure them that I'm definitely getting the, enough protein and iron required to achieve my goals. I guess it just came down to the fact that I didn't want to put my career before anyone's life or anything's life. It just doesn't make sense to me. I grew up in a pretty competitive family. We started off as gymnasts. I have two other sisters, all a year apart. Yeah, we played every single sport. You know, netball, basketball, swimming, gymnastics, soccer. At the end of the day, I found athletics to be my favourite. Yeah, I do thank my sisters for that, giving me that competitive edge, I guess. You know, now I just try and find the court whenever I can, whenever I've got spare time just to shoot some hoops. It's a good way just to take your mind off of things. It's a home track, their family and friends here to watch it. What I think about before a race, a lot of nerves. Usually it's about, I think about food quite a lot. I'm going through this thing, you know, I'm trying to learn about just going through the process because no one can tell the future. For me, it's just, I think about finishing the race the way I want. Morgan Mitchell kicks it up another one. An Olympic qualifier for Morgan Mitchell. In the back of my mind, I always, it had always been there. No matter what sport it was for, I wanted to make sure I could call myself an Olympian. I think you have to be determined, you have to work hard. You know, it took, what, 15 years? But I'm here now, so it's an amazing feeling. It really is. My name is Morgan Mitchell and I am a 400 metre track runner.